everybody. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well out there. Um, I wanted to do a little just sit down and talk video. I just did one last night about the flood and everything here in uh, Tennessee and Western North Carolina and sent out some, some numbers and things for people to be able to call to find out about their loved ones. And I hope that um, some of you were able to, to get in touch with with people that you need to get in touch with. Um, still asking for prayers for all the flood victims, all the hurricane victims all over the, the United States. And I'm also asking for some, some prayers for one of the, the people that I've been subscribed to for a number of years now. Um, he, uh, he, had, um, he had cancer, pancre pancreatic cancer. And he actually beat it, and he was in recovery, and uh, was doing pretty well, pretty good. And uh, unfortunately, the cancer came back a few months ago, and he is once again undergoing treatment for the pancreatic cancer. And he's not doing real well right now. <clears throat> he's had some really bad um, effects from the, the chemo and everything, so he's not doing very well. Um, he also just lost his precious little, precious little dog, uh, Pomeranian, uh, Foxy Lady was her name, and he recently lost her, he'd had her for quite a long time, and he lost her, um, uh, just a few weeks ago, and he was just devastated by that, and going through all of this and everything else, he just really needs some prayers, and his name is, uh, Felix, and uh, his channel if you'd like to go over there and, and help support him and, and get him some views and everything while he's not able to do videos and stuff that would be really great um, go by big dog RV and I'll put it in the description of the video so you guys can go over there and watch some of his videos and help him get his his views back up <coughs> so I just ask that you pray for him and pray for also um, another one of the people that I'm subscribed to that I just really like a lot, has a really nice personality, is um, uh, Camper Van Cabin. I know some of you might know him, some of you might not, but Camper Van Cabin. He's uh, had a lot of losses in the last few months, and um, and he's not been doing well either. And he could he could use some help with his channel. So if you'd like to go over and, and support a really a really good guy and, and see some pretty cool videos, he's got he's got three adorable little dogs. He actually had four, uh, four Yorkies. They're just adorable. Calls them the wolf pack. But, uh, <coughs> one of them, his oldest one, uh, Martini just passed away, um, a few weeks ago as well. So he's, he suffered with that loss and with a lot of other losses going on as well. So if you could, um, send out some prayers for the camper van Kevin and, uh, and just um, go over there and, and watch some of his videos. Um, I've been doing that with a with another <laughs> subscriber that I that I've subscribed to. That I haven't been subscribed to her for real long, but um, I really love her videos. Her videos are wonderful, um, beautiful scenery. She lives in her Jeep, and um, her name is Sarah. And uh, I'll put her her channel in the in the description as well. Um, so, um, she was, she has been doing really well for the channel. She lives in her Jeep most of the time. She also has an adorable little dog. <laughs> I just, uh, there's just something about, uh, about, uh, YouTubers with, with dogs and cats too. Just animals. I just love YouTubers with animals. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. I have been um, just putting on, putting her videos on, and just letting them play. Uh, I've been watching a bunch of them too. I, I did a I did a marathon, and I watched a lot of her videos. Like I said, I haven't been following, I haven't been subscribed to her for a real long time, but I really enjoy her videos, and I think you will too. Um, her content is really nice, nice music, awesome uh, views, and just really good videos. And um, like I said, I'll I'll put. Uh, I'll put her, her, uh, her YouTube channel in the subscriptions as well. Um, 
you guys by Wandering Gypsy. Not Gypsy, but Gypsy. <laughs> so you can find her, find her, uh, her video and watch her, watch her videos. Um, the reason her channel has, has kind of gone down and everything, she was actually taking care of a really good close friend of hers who was also dying of cancer. And she was his, she was his caregiver and she stayed with him at his home and took care of him until his last breath. And, um, she has been through a lot in her life. She's not had a, a real great life. She's had a lot of, of trauma and, um, and uh, this is just this is just added to it. So if you could hop over there and, and watch her videos, that would help her out a lot too. And like I said, I've been trying to support a lot of different channels. Um, I subscribe to to people all the time, and like I said in another video, I might not like all their content or or whatever, but I still subscribe to them, and I'm going to stay subscribed to people. I have this thing where sometimes people subscribe to me and and I'm just so excited because I've got like four new subscribers and then the next day I go on there and like two or three of them had dropped out I guess because they didn't really like all of my content and they watched the videos they wanted to watch and moved along and I just don't do that so if I am subscribed to you I will be subscribed to you forever so just keep that in mind <laughs> if you'd like to like me to subscribe to you I would be happy to I would appreciate if you subscribe back to me, even if you don't ever watch a single video that I have, just a, just being subscribed and you know, and that I have the support out there would be really helpful. And um, I have been um, recently subscribing to a lot more people, and and people have been subscribing to me. I'm up to 107. Yay! <laughs> and I was excited, you know, when I hit 50 and I did a whole 50, uh, 50 subscriber video and everything. And now I'm up to 107. And I floated between 96 and 100 for like three weeks. I kept going up and going back down and then there was being. When I finally hit 100, I was really excited. And then I went up to 104. Then I went back down to 102. And then I went up to like 106. And then I went back down to 102 again. And then, uh, just in the last few days, I've gotten up to 107, so we'll see. Tomorrow I may look at it and have 50 again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, what the deal is. Maybe I've been posting too many Halloween videos. <clears throat> I have been posting a lot of Halloween videos, um, um, and I have a few more to come, too. But it's just, you know, this is the, the time of the year when people like to look at Halloween decorations, and a lot of people aren't able to go out and, and look in all of these stores and stuff for Halloween decorations. So I just like to share that with people. I do enjoy Halloween. I am a Christian. I believe in God and you know, I I don't I don't celebrate Halloween. I just enjoy the the creativity of it, you know, and the and the fun of it and, and seeing kids having fun and everything like that. But my my um celebration of it it's not a celebration <laughs> it's not um like i said I, I believe in god and and you know um i think i may have lost a few subscribers because of all my halloween videos but you know um my channel is just a little bit of this a little bit of that it's very random so it could have been just you know people don't want all that random stuff uh, a lot of people, you know, they get niches and they stick to, to one certain thing, but right now I don't really, I don't really have a niche. I don't do enough of one thing to make that a niche. If I, if I made just one thing that I do a niche, I would only be making one video every three or four months, you know, just hiking and, and cooking and, and things like that. I don't do that every day. It's just, you know, it's, it's part of what I do. It's, I might cook this day and hike this day and, and go look at some Halloween stuff this day and I may, you know, there's just so many different things. I might be doing some projects in my room or something that I like to share with people. Just, you know, whatever's going on is what I what I put on my channel and it's really not a niche. <laughs> I guess you could call my niche everyday life. Um, I guess that would be my niche, just everyday random stuff. And I'm actually going to be doing some more random things that fit into what I do every day. I've actually got some really cool things coming up. Um, 
I'm going to, uh, I don't know if any of you guys like uh, retro games or not, but I'm going to start playing some um, um, N64 games. I love, I love video games. I always have. I've always loved Zelda and um, just some of those other uh, role-playing games. And uh, Banjo Kazooie, that's one of my favorites, and Donkey Kong Country, all these really cool video games. And I'm going to start uh, actually um, doing that once a week. I'm going to sit down and just play my video games and maybe talk to you guys just a little bit. I'm not going to talk over the game, and beside that, I have to concentrate on what I'm doing, <laughs> especially when I'm fighting those bosses. So, uh, that's something else that I have planned to add to the channel. And I have some more poetry coming up. And uh, speaking of poetry, I've had a, a couple of new poems in the last few weeks. And um, I don't know if um, if people don't like the 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 way that I that I present the poetry with the pictures and the music and everything, or if people just don't just don't like poetry, just not interested in it. But they're not getting the views that I was hoping that they would get. Um, but um but that's okay it's okay uh, maybe somebody will like the video game thing or you know whatever <laughs> i'm so random and just here and there you know i can understand why somebody might like this this part of my channel and not like that part of my channel and it's okay um, whatever floats your boat um so yeah, so my poetry, I've had uh, two in the last, uh, in this month, during this month, I did two poems. I did um, one called Demon Quilt, and Demon Quilt is about um, depression and about um, hope. The end of the, poetry, the end of the poem is about hope and, and, you know, getting out of the depression and stuff. Um, uh, I spoke about it on another video, I think it was, um, mental health something, but anyway, I, you know, I, years ago I was diagnosed with, well, not so long ago, but I was diagnosed with, um, complex PTSD, depression, and, um, panic attacks, and just all sorts of things, and, um, so, a lot of my poetry is dark. A lot of my poetry is just feelings that I've had and just, you know, I just put it all out there and um, a lot of it is, um, I hope, kind of helps other people and it always helps me to write it. So uh, I like to share it with people, but anyway, it's called Demon Quilt. And uh, the other one that I, I did was called uh, Evanescent. And, um, it's, uh, it was actually for 9-11. It was a tribute kind of to 9-11. I actually wrote that one, um, this, this year on 9-11. Uh, Demon Quilt and, and most of the others, well, all of the others that I've already put on there, those are old, uh, poems that, old pieces that I, uh, I wrote, you know, a year or two ago. But, uh, Evanescent was one that I actually wrote just the other day, and it's the first thing that I've written. In, in quite a while, so um, I put that one on there, and um, like I said, it was about 9-11, and um, um, Evanescent, if, if you don't know what Evanescent means, Evanescent means, um, Evanescent means like uh, fleeting or um, out of sight, memory or existence, um, something that quickly fades or disappears and um, so that's that's where the name came from is, is from the meaning of evanescent um, but it is about um, it is about 9-11 and the uh, the first responders and the heroes of 9-11 uh, so um, yeah um, I also have done the uh, a couple of uh, project videos. I did a couple of projects in my room. I put together um, that drawer unit that you might can see oh, back there. Back there? See that black drawer unit? Uh, I put that together and I also um, changed the mattress and stuff on my bed. 
and I have a couple others coming out in the next few days or so. I have one of, um, I built a coat rack, a little coat rack shoe thing to put in the living room, and I also, um, our refrigerator was like really scrapped up and just horrible, so I, um, did some, uh, refrigerator repair, and, uh, I did a video of that, and, uh, I built all this stuff, uh, that, that, that drawer unit back there, and the shoe and coat rack that I built, and what I did to the refrigerator and the kitchen, uh, all came from Timu. I've been ordering some things from Timu, and I'd just like to share with you guys what, what the stuff is like, because <laughs> I had no idea. I just thought one day, I'm like, you know what, this stuff is so cheap on here, and this stuff I need, and uh, I, I'm not made of money, so I have to get the most reasonable thing wherever I can get it, and Timu is super reasonable, and they also have started having, like, local warehouses now, so you don't have to, you know, wait for three, four weeks to get stuff. You can get it delivered in just a couple of days, and so far, everything that I've ordered from Timu, I've really, really liked, um, the, the drawer unit, the, the shoe rack, that drawer unit back there was ten dollars I think on Amazon they're like thirty five and uh, the shoe rack and coat rack in the living room was eleven dollars or twelve dollars and they're like thirty and forty on Amazon and the stuff that I got for the kitchen was really cheap and oh I got this shirt this is super super soft I just love this shirt it's a turtleneck it's a little early for turtlenecks but this shirt is so comfortable I don't want to take it off <laughs> I've already worn it like three or four times. Um, so I really am very happy with the stuff that I've been ordering off of Timu. And I have another video coming out about um, saving money on your vitamins and, and things like that uh, at Walgreens and some other stores that have offered some really good discounts where it saves like tons of money. So I know everybody out there, well not everybody out there, but a lot of you out there need to find ways to save money on stuff and I'm going to do a video and show you guys some ways that I save money on things. And I have a cooking video coming out on um, Lily's dog food that I make for her. I just made some today but I have a video of that coming out and I have, uh, what else do I have? Oh, I wanted to, oh, oh, I had, um, I'm just all over the place, I know. I had, um, I released my, um, Halloween music that I created, and it's not AI, you guys. It's, it's created with loops, and I also play my keyboard. I'm, it's, I guess it's more like, um, um, DJ style music creation. I use loops and things like that to create the music, but it's not AI. Uh, I have that video coming. Out. I have that video out now. It's all my Halloween music in one um, in one video. So that if you want to have a party or something like that, and you want my music playing in the background, because some of it's real spooky and there's lots of screams and clowns laughing and chainsaws and <laughs> and things like that, along with like ambient style spooky music. So you can check that out. And like I said, if you want to use it at a party or whatever you want to use it with, you want to put it with your Halloween videos, you're more than welcome to use it. I don't have any kind of um, copyright thing on it or anything, so you should be able to use it too. Um, so another video I did is one of my favorite places to eat when I'm in East Tennessee, and that is Rickett Ridge Barbecue. It's at the um, Cove Lake State Park, and uh, I did a video on that and on a, a little walk around Cove Lake. Cove Lake. Um, I did a did a couple of videos before on a different trail in Cove Lake, but this is just on the really short walking trail in Cove Lake. Also wanted to update my camera equipment status, what I'm using each camera for, and all that stuff because I've done videos of me unboxing or me 
um, testing out my cameras or whatever. That Coke Lake one with Rick Ridge Barbecue, I actually tra tried out my little camera that I have. And, um, and that one worked really well for outside and for, for walking and stuff like that. I think that's probably the one. And I didn't realize, but I didn't even have stabilizer on, on it when I filmed that one in Cove Lake. Um, so it wasn't, you know, it still had a little bit of shakiness or whatever in it, movement. But I, I realized that I didn't have the stabilizer on, on it. So my next one, my next hiking video should be better because I'm going to be using that camera for outside stuff because it was really nice recording. And then, um, the camera I'm using in here to record me with, um, is that one that I did a, a kind of a review on and I tested it a couple other places and not really happy with it outside. It doesn't really record good outside. It doesn't focus well. It doesn't, um, I just don't like it, but, um, it does work well on a tripod in my room and lower light and I wear my hat <laughs> so I wear my hat because uh, the glare on my sun oh my glasses and I wear my glasses in the videos so I don't wear a hat to kind of get some of the glare off my glasses <laughs> um, so it works well for that and I don't have I don't even have the, the light set on it either this is just the normal overhead light and so it works well for that and my other camera that I've had for since 2011, 2010, I don't know. I've had it a long time. Um, I actually kind of worked on it a little bit, and I think I fixed the focus problem. So that's one of my main videos. If I'm filming nature and I want to zoom in really close, that's the one I'll be using for that. Or if I'm filming... Um, a concert or something like that. It, it films concerts really well. So I've got that camera going on and yeah, so that's my camera equipment. Like I said, I would not recommend this camera that I'm using right now. I would not recommend that for outside at all. It cut off every time I would try to turn it around or do anything with it. It would just cut off and it doesn't focus good at all. So I won't be using that one outside for anything. Um, what else? Oh, um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about some, some new music that I've been listening to recently. I'm going to start adding that in with my, I'm going to try to do one of these just sit down talks once a week. So I'll start uh, telling you guys, you know, about new music or I watch a movie or something like that that I really, I really, really like. I'll tell you guys about that. But, let's see. So much good new music coming out. That's not AI. My timeline sometimes gets just filled up with nothing but AI music. And I just like, oh, why is it doing that? So, let's see, I've got a couple of new ones to tell you guys about. Um, one of my favorite bands, Smash Into Pieces, they have a new video out called Wildfire, it's really good, and um, another artist I like a whole lot, is, his name is Nathan Wagner, he has a new video out called Depression really good. I will warn you though, the video is, is very, very um, touching <laughs> to say the least. And yeah. I wish I could, I wish I could do the Music Monday the way that I wanted to do it, but I can't. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll do a, a playlist on my channel. Just um, music, new music, new favorite music or something like that and just do a playlist on my channel and you guys if you're interested in any of the music that I like you can you can check out the playlist. But one other one that I wanted to tell you about is, is called um, More to This and it's from um, 
Mark Gabilia. And it's an acoustic performance of that song, and it is just a beautiful song. Um, so it's called More to This. Just look that up, and you can probably find it um, in front of the stairwell acoustic performance. Mark Scabilia. Uh, really good. Really good song. And I can't really think of any of the others right now, so I can't find them on here. I'll be scrolling forever. So <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put those on a playlist, and you guys can go check them out if you want to. And so, yeah. So what else do I have? And what else? What else? What else? Um, oh, also, um, I don't know if you guys remember, if any of you remember the band 12 Stone. Um, early singer Paul McCoy. He is making a, a, a return or a comeback, whatever you want to call it. He's coming back into the music scene and he's also doing um, paintings and things like that. But uh, his name's um, Paul McCoy. And like I said, he's from 12 Stone. And he is going to start doing some, he's been doing some live streams, some acoustic. He just plays guitar and sings and really good if you like the band 12 Stone. Um, they've been around for quite a long time. But if you like the band 12 Stone, um, check out, um, check out Paul McCoy, and super nice guy, and check it out, he's going to start doing some live streams, some more live streams, he's going to be doing some more live streams, uh, I just got back from tour with, uh, Scott Bartlett, who is from Saving Able, if you remember that band, you may remember that, you may not, but he is from that band. Um, he just got a new recording contract, and he is um, doing really well. And he and uh, Paul McCoy just were on tour together, so um, he's been also doing some live streams and stuff. So check that out. And what else? I guess that's all. Like I said, I'm going to put some links in the description for some of the new uh, people that I have subscribed to and who have subscribed to me. If you know somebody that needs somebody to subscribe to them, let me know and I'll be glad to subscribe to them and um, give, if you want a shout out on one of my videos, let me know and I'll shout out your channel and hopefully get you some more subscribers as well. So you guys have seen all my, uh, well, you've seen how many I have listed. You probably haven't watched all of them, but you've seen that I have a lot of uh, videos on uh, my Halloween shopping. <laughs> I don't really do a lot of shopping. I just look more than I shop, but I have bought a couple of things. And um, I was going to show you guys just a couple of things that I bought that are just uh, cute. And, um, yeah, so I'll show you guys what I actually bought after all the stuff that I've looked at. I've looked at so much stuff, so much really cute stuff, so much um, very artistic stuff. And uh, I just, uh, like I said, I'm not made of money, so <laughs> so I just get, you know, something that's really, really, I can't do without. <laughs> well, I could, but uh, I'll show you guys what I got. First off, I'll show you this while I'm still sitting here. I got Lily this. And she, it's actually in one of the videos that I recorded where I was shopping for Halloween stuff. I got her this. He's super cute. He makes uh, like crinkly noises that she loves. He has squeakers in every section of him. I don't squeak them all because I'll wake people up. Um, but yeah, super cute. And... He gave the, he's the star of the show. The little precious. The cutie. <laughs> I have some more Lily videos coming up soon too. I just haven't gotten them edited or anything, but I've got some really cute stuff of her progress so far. She's so, she's so, so precious. I just love her. She's sleepy right now. She gets sleepy at night and she crashes out. She sleeps very good. She'll sleep through the whole night. She's so sweet. 
<laughs> Still got a broken ear. So there's Miss Lily. Let me show you guys what I got. I got Jack Skellington, which is really cute, but I'm not going to turn him on tonight because I don't want him to wake everybody up. He's very loud. Uh, he's actually in one of my videos when I was uh, shopping. I, uh, I showed what he did and everything. And these two guys here. One of these is actually for uh, Kyle's Halloween package that I'll be sending out in a few days. So if you're watching this, Kyle, you're getting one of those. One of these guys. <laughs> Look at this creepy Halloween mask back there because I have a plan for it. I'm going to be doing, uh, doing something really cute that involves these two guys and that. Or at least one of these guys and that. So uh, that's coming up. But I, I got this Jack Skellington. It's so cute. Yeah, I have this one. This one is a this one's a collector's item. I just really like him a lot. He's super tall. And then that one, and that little guy back there. I think my my uh, I think my nephews gave me that for Christmas one year. So a few Jack Skellington things, but these are the these are the things that I bought recently. And then. Uh, These two cute little guys. These are also in a, a video. These were in the video where I went to Kroger and found these two little guys. And uh, one of these little guys is also for you, Kyle. <laughs> if you're watching, you're also getting one of those little guys. And I bought some Halloween or some fall stuff back there. Oh, that's another thing, too, I want to show you guys is what I did to my uh, kitchen shelf. I got it decorated for fall very very cute um, and I got those pretty butterflies at the um, Old Town Pottery store we went in there looking for uh, fall stuff and um, I saw those and they were just so pretty I love butterflies you see I have butterflies up here there's this one up there there's one over there I just have lots of butterflies so oh there's one there too the brooch and oh and when I was at uh, Hobby Lobby looking for fall stuff I also got me a new cross I had all the crosses for half off so I got this one it's amazing grace super pretty I love that one and goes with my other crosses I collect crosses oh, I'm about to drop my camera <laughs> so there's that one. I don't know why it seems to. I don't know why it's. Oh, it's probably because the battery's low. It's not focusing well. And I have that one up there. And we have this one. It's one of my favorites. It says all kinds of things on it. And I have some little ones. Yeah. I collect crosses. I love them. And I guess that's it. That's what I got for. Halloween so far. So. so that was my Halloween stuff. My battery's almost dead. It's actually red and blinking, so <laughs> maybe I can finish out this video, but let me look over. I think I got everything. Uh, most important thing is um, prayers for all the people that I told you at the beginning of the video. And just for all you guys out there in, in YouTube land, all my YouTube family. Um, always, always praying for all of you. For all of us. <laughs> always praying for all of us. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. I, uh, what are you eating? I should be my remote. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick sit down video. Probably ended up being 35, 45 minutes or an hour or something, but hopefully not. Um, yeah. So if you like the video and you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. And um, so you don't miss anything that I have to share. I have a lot more to share with you guys. 
and like I said, if you need support, if you need some more subscribers, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do um, to subscribe. I'm all about helping out everybody. It's not a competition. It's plenty of room for everybody. And I guess that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I love you all. I appreciate you. God bless you all. And I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.